Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Prime's latest innovation, which is the Glowberry flavor. So I was actually lucky enough to find this in a normal Tesco's actually for the normal price of two pounds. Thank God for that. So there is a couple of these bottles lurking around. I think there's like a limited edition one where it's like kind of half white and half green. I think there's like a foil one as well in America somewhere, but this is the box standard normal globally, but they all taste the same anyway. So before I start the video, and I've said this on every Prime video up to this point, because it's kind of pathetic that in 2023 and beyond, I'm having to give not warnings, but I'm basically having to say what I'm about to say for a, a drink review. I've been doing this for a long time, and it's taken Prime to actually ruin that um, trust. Well, not even trust, but ruin that trust. So basically, this review will be non-biased. It will be 100% my own opinion. You know, no money amount of money or anything can pay me to say say a certain way. I'll give my 100% honest opinion about this drink but if you guys have been watching me for a long time you'll know that i give more my 100 percent honest opinion anyway about this drink because obviously with with these prime drinks obviously there's been a lot of hype a lot of fake reactions and a lot of just general nonsense and bsing to get views and stuff and it's just nonsense i'm not about that 100 honest opinion with this channel and this is why i appreciate you subscribers for subscribing for the honest opinions i give right now that's out of the way, let's get back to the normal world. So today, like I said, we're reviewing Prime Glowberry. Now also, this bottle does uh, glow in the dark. The logo does glow up with all the lines. I'm not gonna show you because frankly, my light's down there and I can't turn off the switch. But honestly, if you wanna look at it glow in the dark, just literally search on Google or YouTube or TikTok, Prime Glow in the Dark bottle, and there'll literally be hundreds of thousands of videos and pictures. So just do that. But yeah, it actually does glow in the dark, which is pretty dope. So awesome packaging with this one. We've obviously got uh, obviously most of the packaging being uh, black and then we've got obviously lots of green on there of course my favorite color zesty lime green uh going around the thing lots of kind of smiley faces or uh, just represent uh, i think a bit of an apple as well because it is i'll get to the flavor in a second on the bottom we kind of just got their unique design and then a big black cap on the top so taking a close look at the bottle, so like i said globally globally flavor really cool font really cool color thing whatever it's got that nice kind of matte um matte feel to the packaging so again it feels nice and premium nice and uh, nice and uh, good so it says prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold first quenching flavors to help you refresh replenish and refuel prime is the perfect boost for your every endeavor we're confident you'll love it as much as we do humbly the prime team 10.5% coconut water, 250 milligrams of BCAAs, B vitamins, antioxidants, and 720 milligrams of electrolytes. And looking on the back of the bottle, so gluten-free, caffeine-free, yeah, glow in the dark, charging the sun. So it is indeed only two grams of sugar per bottle, which again is super, super low and really good. So the flavor is sour apple berry. Now, I love apple drinks and I adore sour drinks as well so i'm hoping this is going to be super super nice and looking at the ingredients obviously we have coconut water which is 10.5 percent sweetens are super close and a super flame case and now aspartame but apart from that yeah not much else of interest on the bottle so sour apple oh, that sounds so nice love my sour drinks so anyways we're gonna give it give it a little shake and then we're gonna crack it open pour it into the cup and get straight into it so it's nice and cold so i've got my zesty Lime studios cup so let's open it and hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Ooh. There we go. Right, I know we can see the colour underneath, but again, we always pour into the cup because we always do. So the colour is yeah, nice and white. There we go, put that to one side. So yeah, the color is white, as you can see, it is cloudy and it is non-see-through as you cannot see my face through the drink. But yeah, just a, just a white color. So let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells like. It does smell apple-y, to be fair. I definitely can smell the apple. Obviously you can't really smell, I know you can smell sour food, but, um, or kind of when something's gone off, sour kind of thing, but 
yeah, you won't really know it's sour, just an apple smell. Well, looking forward to this. Nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Oh my word, that is. Oh my word, that is incredible. Wow. Seriously, Prime Team, you outdone yourselves. This, that is. Oh my god, that is so nice, guys. Wow. Ooh. Almost speechless in a way. That is superb. And like I said, I really like sour and I really like apple. And put the two together, I'm your biggest fan. I don't think there's enough sour, well, there hardly isn't any sour apple drinks on the market anymore. So when one comes along like this, that is insane. Wow, that's so good. You know what that reminds me of? Apple uh, apple chewits, but the uh, extreme chewits. I think they were called ex extreme chewits. The, um, the sour chewits. I think they were the extreme chewits, something like that. But yeah, the extreme apple chowers, extreme apple uh sour chewies yeah those ones that's exactly what it tastes like in a way and that's super super nice it's literally like drinking melted chewies which is just a good thing and super super nice and again you know two grams of sugar per bottle no aspartame and you've got a lovely nice good strong flavor which still you know seems to have a good amount of sweetness to the drink no chemical no sweetener um no harsh sweetener taste or you know uh, chemical taste artificial taste anything like that it's just a really really nice sour apple drink absolutely superb flavor from them definitely well done guys mm, that might be my new favorite wow that is nice god how do they do it you know i look at drinks like this and think this flavor is absolutely spot on it really is brilliant. And you look at some of the other flavors it make and you just think they're absolutely disgusting. Um, but hey, they're all different blends, aren't they? But no, that is absolutely superb. I haven't got a thing wrong to say that. The only thing I would say, in all honesty, and this is my own kind of personal take, I wish it was more sour because I like like really sour drinks. And again, they hardly exist. There's, there's a couple of ghost warhead um, themed, warheads themed, energy drinks but again they're american and expensive to buy and not easy to get hold of but in terms of general sour drinks so rare enough as they are um yeah I definitely would like to see a bit more sour but understand why they don't make it super sour obviously because it would obviously put a lot of people off but apart from making it a bit more sour for me personally um yeah i can't fault it whatsoever the it said the flavors are strong this is good you know got no sugar it's just it's brilliant it really is brilliant so the question is, how many zesties shall I give it out of 10? Well, here's the thing. Two of my other favorite, three of my other favorite prime flavors is Meta Moon, uh, the orange and the lemonade. Now I'd say the orange and lemonade are generally first or second currently. Meta Moon is third. I'd say this is probably going to take the number one spot in all honesty. So I think this takes number one, then orange lemonade, I can't decide number two and three. And poor Meta Moon gets pushed down to number four. Um, as well but yeah it's definitely one of my favorite prime and for that drink in general it gets 10 out of 10 really just yeah 10 out of 10 it's not often i give a 10 out of 10 but i think this definitely deserves it so 100 well done because it is not often something like this comes along and hopefully it, this one will be quite easy to get hold of once it gets rolled out into most of the supermarkets as well so there we have it guys the new prime super nice if you see this for a normal price, pick it up and give it a try. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Unless, of course, you hate Apple, um, then obviously avoid it like the plague. But to today's viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.